So how do we make movies easy to understand? Uh, here are a few things that you may have thought of that make movies difficult to understand. Uh, one of them is the background. If we don't know the background of the people in the movie, if we don't know about the place in the movie, it's very difficult to understand. Relationships. Um, if we don't know about the relationship between two people in the movie, it's very hard to understand what they're talking about, what's going on. A vocabulary, of course, makes it difficult to understand. If they're using difficult words, if they're using words we don't know, then it's hard to understand. And often movies have accents, so people speak in a strong voice with different pronunciation to the one we're used to. This can also make it difficult to understand what people are speaking about and difficult to understand the movie. Uh, there is some good news though. Uh, some things make it easy to understand movies and of course visuals. Uh, movies have a picture and we can get a lot of information from what we can see. Uh, good acting, good actors, uh, their emotions will tell us a lot not just their words, their body language will communicate a lot to us. Um, the plot, movies have stories and often the stories are predictable. So we kind of know what's going to happen. If there's a boy and a girl, we know if it's a romance, they're probably going to get together. So there are things we know if there's a bad guy and a good guy we know probably the good guy is going to win and beat the bad guy. So there are things in plot that help us to understand the movie. Um, subtitles, some of you may think subtitles are useful in making a movie easy. Uh, this is true. Subtitles do make it easier to understand. A few more things about subtitles, though. Subtitles, if you're watching a movie with subtitles in Japanese. This will make you read in Japanese. And if you're reading in Japanese, you're not thinking in English. They will stop you from thinking in English. So maybe, um, maybe you can use subtitles in English. Um, this will make you read in English rather than listening in English. So if you're going to read in English, you should probably go and read a book. Um, if we're watching a movie, we're, we're trying to listen and we're trying to practice listening. Um, by now, you're probably just reading the, the subtitles in Japanese. So let's switch off the subtitles. To acquire from movies, here are things you can do if you, if you want to acquire language from a movie. Um, first of all, watch the movie with subtitles. This will help you understand what the movie's about. If you try and watch a movie with no subtitles, um, very soon it's likely you're going to lose the plot and you won't really know what's going on. You'll get bored and you may fall asleep or you may just stop watching. So if you're going to try and acquire language from a movie, try and watch with subtitles the first time and... Often that's where people stop. They don't watch the movie again. They've watched a movie with subtitles. It may be an English language movie, but if you're watching with subtitles, you haven't really been studying English, unless you keep going. Uh, maybe you can watch the movie again with Japanese audio. Switch the Japanese sound on. You can do this with DVDs. You can do this online sometimes. Um, try watching with English subtitles. Uh, by now, You've got the story, you know the story, you know a lot of the words in the story. Um, I guess you could try with Japanese audio and English subtitles. So you're trying to read in English while you're listening and understanding in Japanese. Um, but by now you're probably ready to watch the movie with no subtitles. And because you've got the story, because you've got lots of words, you can follow the movie now with uh, no subtitles. And by now, and especially if you watch again, by now you're starting to acquire the language and you're starting to pick up the language in the movie. Um, but you do need to watch the movie five or six times before this happens. Um, 
I'll come back to this in a, in a moment. Uh, so you can do this when you want to acquire language from your movie. Um, if we're going to show this in a classroom, or if other students in, in this class, in this online class, are going to watch each other's movie, then um, I don't think we have time to show the whole movie. We maybe have time to show just five minutes of the movie. Um, and if we can only show five minutes of the movie, which part is going to be easier to understand, do you think? And um, another question, if you're showing five minutes of a movie, probably you're going to watch, you're going to want people to watch the rest of the movie later. So you're showing a part of the movie. And um, we can't really watch, can we watch the whole movie in a class? Um, no, we don't have time to watch a whole movie in class. The other thing to think about is how many times we need to watch the scene. And I think at least two or three times people need to watch the scene before they can start to understand really what's going on and start to get some of the language from it. Um, do we want to spend an English lesson reading Japanese subtitles? I don't think so. I think we want to spend the English lesson as much as possible listening to English, practicing English. So this is the kind of lesson that we, we want to have if we're showing a movie. Um, first of all, we have an introduction. We want to hear about the background of the movie. We want to maybe hear some of the, the vocabulary, some of the language in the movie to make it easy when we come to watch the scene. Um, next, we want to watch the scene. After that, we maybe want some more questions and then maybe watch the scene again. Then a few more questions after watching the scene a second time. And then watch the movie again a third time. By this time, we've asked questions. We've talked about the movie a little bit. Uh, so we should understand quite a high level. Um, after watching the scene three times, we can probably discuss, have some follow-on activities. Um, so if we look at this time, we, we, do have, we don't have much time that we can watch of the, of the movie scene. Uh, so this is something to think about when we're choosing a scene. Um, and here are some questions then. Um, should we choose a scene with dialogue? Should we choose a scene with many characters? Should we choose a long scene? Should we choose a scene that's difficult to understand? Should we choose a scene from the first half of the movie? Should we choose a scene from near the end of the movie? Um, more questions. What, what should you do when you're choosing a scene? Should you try to find one interesting theme in the scene? Should you tell the whole story of the movie? Should you show how the movie ends? Should you think about people who haven't seen it? Should you encourage people to watch the whole movie? Um, have a think about these questions and then come back soon.